So you're being asked to draw a square made out of dots, and then to make a conjecture about the number of dots needed to increase the size of the square from n times n to n plus 1 times n plus 1. What I like to do every time I have an equation like this and I need to figure out a pattern, because this, this, it wants to know the pattern from this to this about the number of dots needed to increase the size. So the square is growing. It's increasing from this to this. So if n were to equal 1, that basically means 1 by 1. Or if you ever explained a square as 3 by 3 or 4 by 4, it's the same thing as 1 times uh, 1, or 3 times 3, or 4 times 4. It's, uh, it's essentially 1 squared. Notice that relationship, square, squared. So if n equals 1, it's going to be the amount of dots we need. 1 squared is just 1. Then it says t to the next size square is going to be n plus 1 times n plus 1. Well, if n is 1, what's n plus 1? It's 2. So this is going to be 2 times 2, because n plus 1, 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2 by 2. And then we already know that's squared, but we'll just say it's 2 times 2, because that's what the equation is. That's going to equal 4. Now if n were to equal 3, because here n equals 2, and we added 1, so now we're at 3. That's going to be 3 by 3. That equals 9. And what this is, this is the amount of dots needed. So for a 1 by 1 square, we can only have one dot. Because from this angle, <laughs> there's one dot from this, there's one dot, for, you know, if we, if we draw our square like that. So, for example, um, if I were to draw the 2 by 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, and then on each side, it's two dots. If you count them all up, you get 4. Now for 3 by 3, 1, 2, 3, and then if we go down to the left side, it'd be 1, 2, 3, then the right side would be 1, 2, 3, and then finally the bottom, 1, 2, 3, and then we need one, one in the middle. So 3 by 3. And we'll do one more, that's n equals 4, which is a 4 by 4 square, and again, n plus 1 is the next size square, so we went from 3 to 4, it's the next in the sequence. Whenever you see plus 1, just automatically assume it means the next in the sequence. So from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. That's all it really means. 4 by 4, 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4. You can actually just do 4 rows of 4. Like you, here you could have done 3 rows of 3. Here we did 2 rows of 2. And here we did 1 row of 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's an ugly square. Let's try to make it a little... Ugh. It's hard to do with my tablet here. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now how many dots are needed for, uh, to go from one square to the next? Well from one, from one dot to four dots, was that's three more dots. Now from four dots to nine dots, that's five more dots. From nine dots to sixteen dots, that's seven more dots. Do you see a pattern that's going right here? Three, five, seven. Well, let's go ahead and do one more. If n were to equal five, that is a five by five square, which is 25 dots. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 So we have five rows of five. That's 25 dots. Okay, so to go from 16 to 25 dots, how, much, how many more dots did we need to make this next square? It'd be nine. Now without even thinking about the next one, we already know that n, if it was going to be six, it's just six by six, or 36. You can already see what the next pattern is. We added 11, because three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So we don't even need to know what n equals for the next one, because we already know the amount of dots needed to make it is going to be 13, because that's the next odd number in the sequence. 36 plus 13, what is that? Uh, did I do this right? 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So that would be 49. 
So 49 dots is what's going to take to be the next one, and then it's going to be 15 more dots. We're running out of space here. And basically, that's the sequence. That's how many more dots is is basically it's going to be um, odd numbers. So the odd numbers in the sequence is how many more dots each square is going to need to be the next square.